TikTok's bold glamour filter smooths the skin, adds makeup, and plumps up the lips. And it's been used in more than 7 million videos. But now, some users are striking back. The fact that people are using this filter and it looks normal on them, it's concerning. This is what a human face looks like. I don't think my brain knows how to deal with looking like this one minute. And then this... The next. Research by Dove shows 50% of girls believe they don't look good enough without photo editing. And many men feel the same. If you don't want to ruin your day, don't try it, because all it's going to do is make you feel like shit. It's a long way from those innocent times when filters gave us little dog ears or made us vomit up rainbows. So, is this a bit of harmless fun or yet another way to bum us out about our natural beauty? And here I am, a normal human face with blemishes and eye bags and skin texture, because that is what humans look like. Well, here's a great human right now. Jess Quinn joins us. Jess, what do you make of this new full-on filter? I found it pretty frustrating when I first saw it. I think... I keep hoping we've made progress in the way we speak about bodies and, and the way we present ourselves and speak about beauty. And then I see things like this and it's a little disheartening, I guess. Is it any worse than airbrushing and Photoshop that we see in magazines all the time? I think it is worse. I mean, I have, I am against that as well. Um, against is a strong word, but I don't think it's healthy for us to view images like that. But the problem with these filters is that you could just be doing anything. You could be sitting in the bath or you could be cooking dinner and you're chatting to the camera and you have this filter on. And the problem with this specific filter is normally there's a, a warping that happens if you put your hand to your face and you can kind of see the, the lipstick move onto your hand, whereas this one is so real that it just stays to your skin. You can touch your face and the filter won't even move. So I think people's reality is getting lost with what's real and what's not. Just people might be watching thinking, well, it's okay for her to say she's one of the most beautiful women in New Zealand. Mm -hmm. What if you look like Guy? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, who's the filter guy? I don't know. <laughs> I was hearing all this and thinking, this actually, I, I need this. Like, is this, is this available for men as well? I know that's wrong. <laughs> No, I think the, the massive problem with it, and I was having a play around with it, I don't like filters, and this is the reason I don't like filters, is I was using it and then I turned it off and I instantly felt worse about myself. Not wow. because of what I was viewing of others, but because it highlighted, I guess, my differences and my so-called imperfections. And I think that's actually the damaging side of it is what we're doing to ourselves. And I've heard people taking these filters to their plastic surgeons and saying, this is what I want to look like. And I think that is just really damaging. Is it true you deleted your TikTok account and, and why? I come in and out of TikTok. I find TikTok really consuming. You scroll and I'm getting told, eat this, don't eat that, do this, don't do that, and all the reasons why and why you shouldn't do something. And it's just a whole lot of uns unsolicited advice, which I find quite anxiety-inducing. So mm. I... I delete it every now and again, I stay off it, and then I'll jump on when I feel like there's something I want to pay attention to or I'm feeling like I'm in a mental health space where I can cope with it well. Well, Jess, thank you for using your voice for good out there in the messy old world of social media. It's been great to chat. Likewise. <laughs> that Jess does, especially on social media. She is such a positive voice. Mm. But it does strike me that I can't really sit here and say, like, yeah, that's bad, filters are bad, while I've got a full face of TV glam that I get every night before I come into your lounge and hang out with you. So I'm going to take my makeup off. OK. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Uh, what? Um, yeah, because it's not, like, it's not normal to have a full-time professional person who, like, makes you look this way. So I just want you to be able to compare the difference. I'm going to spend the break. I'm going to do a good job. This is not the best makeup wipe in the entire world. And I'll see you with my real face after the break.